Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. So I got an email from my buddy Tim last night up in Montana that kind of proposed an interesting uh, question to me. So Tim's setup was uh, sort of like this. Uh, let's assume that he had his JS8 call station running at home, and he was out camping somewhere uh, without cell phone service, but his wife was at home and with cell phone service. He asked me, could he send a message from his camp location to his home station and then have his home station alert his wife with a text message that she had a message waiting? I had to think about it for a little while, but I think I've come up with something that would work. Now, I suppose you could always just send a, uh, you know, he could, from the woods, send a direct text message to her phone. Uh, but this was just kind of an interesting little uh, quandary that he came up with. So I wanted to see if I could tackle it. So what you're looking at today on my screen is actually two different uh, stations uh, running JS8 call. Uh, the one on the right is my mobile rig uh, set up in my Jeep. And the one over here on the left is the one in my shack uh, that's also running JS8. I needed two different stations so I could test this. So here's what I came up with. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Jeep and we're going to go ahead and add my call sign in here for my home station. My Jeep is uh, KM4ACK slash M and my home station uh, is KM4ACK. All right, so let's go ahead and initiate a message to my station in the shack. And we'll go ahead and send that message out from the mobile. And you'll probably hear the audio coming in in the background. And let's go over and take a look at the home station. And there's the signal as it starts to come in on the waterfall. All right, now you can see that the message has been received on my home station. And my home station is going ahead and acknowledging receipt of that message uh, back to my mobile. So the way I've written a script, uh, it runs every minute uh, to check and see if you have any incoming messages. But there's also a 45 second delay built into it. Uh, because it won't work correctly while my home station is acknowledging the, uh, the message. So let's let it run here for just uh, probably another 30 seconds, and we should see a message auto-generated right here. And there's the message that's auto-generated. Now, the way I have it set for testing purposes, it will not automatically send that message, but I can modify that script uh, to auto-send that message. So what it's doing is it's sending a text message out. And right here, you see the at me. I'm using an alias right there uh, instead of my phone number. And that's something that you can set up at the SMS GTE website. Uh, so I'm using an alias there instead of my own phone number, and I just gave it the alert, uh, you have new messages. And like I said, with a, with a quick mod of the script, we could have that auto-send uh, that out instead of sitting just putting it in the outgoing message box and waiting for me to hit the send. But anyway, got to work on a few other little quirks with it and make sure that everything is running properly. Uh, if anybody would be interested in having this, leave a comment down uh, below, and I'll, once I get it finished up, I'll go ahead and make a tutorial video on how to install this script and get it running correctly. All right, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below and the subscribe if you're not already subscribed. You guys have a great day, and we will see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.